Hello everybody, here we are again in the uh, Just Flight Fokker 28 um, Autopilot, I'm going to call it a tutorial, a little guide or help um, The first video, if you didn't see it, part one was explaining the glare shield switches and buttons and modes uh, Also a little bit the DME flight director and the autopilot control panel which is down here Okay, so your damper on huh? thought I'd done that anyway here's part two so we're gonna get the plane in the air and um, show you how it works so we're gonna depart in uh, heading mode we're gonna pitch up I think we've got it at 12 degrees the flight director 13 degrees but that will always blast through a little bit V2 plus 10 in my experience but here we go oh my god I can't believe it on video that didn't end up on the grass but I love Microsoft Flight Simulator and the rudder control on the ground. Rotate. I'll rotate. Get off this ground here. So, there we go. Up in the air. Just following the flight director. Just going to pitch up a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to try and just trim her up a little bit here. Let's just climb like a rocket here. Heading. It's difficult to talk and do this, huh? It's difficult to do it anyway, but... So here we go, we're in um, manual mode at the moment, no autopilot. It's going to get a settled. Flaps up. Okay, you can see we're pitched there. It always, always blasts through a little bit, this, the speed. Uh, but anyway... Climb power. Climb power, yeah. Just reduce the power a little bit here. To the detent, but the detent is pretty hard to find sometimes. Okay, here we go. We're going into um, basic mode now. Autopilot is on, and you can see uh, the plane should. Yeah, it's kept the pitch and the roll that we had. The pitch and the roll that we had, and you can see here the lights, the enunciators or mode selectors are uh, lit up here. Roll and pitch, which is what they should be. Okay, very good. So we're climbing nicely here. Um, I'll just increase the altitude. Don't want the plane to level off here in the middle of me talking. 18,000 feet will do it. Okay, so we're at 200 knots. We need to start climbing at 250. I'll bug up for that. Okay, did you see the little thing move on the speed tape here, this um, slow and fast marker? So we're a little slow, the marker's down here. That pertains to the yellow bug here. Okay, now how do we accelerate? Yeah, we've got to pitch the nose down to about 5 degrees. So we'll go on Flight Director. 5 degrees. Okay, so how do we get it down? We have to change the pitch because we're in pitch mode. So we're going to come here and push the nose down. I actually made a camera for this. It's a little bit difficult, but you can see here, I did it for the point of this video, that we can see how much do I press here, well, how much does that affect the, the nose here. So let's go one two three and we went from about three thousand feet a minute to one and a half one yeah that was maybe three or four seconds now we should see the the no uh, the plane start climbing um, <laughs> speeding up <laughs> start speeding up now um okay let's just push it down another couple of seconds all right for the point of the video so no waiting forever you can see now the vertical speed is coming down nicely in a real flight you probably wouldn't want to be pitching down that much making the passengers sick but just for the point of the video so we speed up a bit more Could I just add a bit of power can I yeah, heard the notch then so we are in pitch and roll mode okay and um, we'll wait for the speed to climb up to 250 to our climb speed here Could go into heading mode now just to show you that while we're waiting. Plane will now follow the heading. We're in heading mode here, so we'll follow the flight director. Uh, let's change the heading to let's go due east. And we'll be banking really nicely there. You can see that. Let's have a look at this beautiful scene. Blasting our ears away. on Mars. Okay, we're nearly at 250 now. Um, 
So what we're going to do when we get to 250 knots, we're going to hit IAS, which is going to hold 250 knots. The plane will stop accelerating, and the way it does that, it'll start pitching the nose up to arrest the speed. The choice of words tonight is amazing. I don't know where that's come from. Okay, there we go, IAS. And we get a little bit too aggressive um, changes in pitch here, but hopefully just flight will sort that out a little bit. Okay. So now you can see, yeah, it's going a bit crazy, but that's all right. We want to climb. Let's see where she settles off at. So now we're in heading mode, and IAS mode. IAS, we're holding the 250. You can see that's exactly where our little marker is here, 250. Shouldn't say exactly on an autopilot of a 50-year-old aircraft, but that's as exact as we'll get. So we're at 2,000 feet, 1,800, 900 feet a minute. That's a good climb rate. Um, so, excellent. How could we get more climb right here? Well, we need more power. So if I push up now to climb power, full, full throttle to see the vertical speed, it makes a nice change to 3,000 feet a minute. It's going to come back down, but that was good. We gained five or 600 feet a minute by pushing the throttles forward. So that's IAS mode. The autopilot will pitch to keep the speed depending on your power settings so we've got to keep your eye on the power there guys and girls um, good let's reduce the climb power again somewhere around about here good so we've got heading mode quite simple turn the heading bug plane follows the bug all right let's put it to one two zero okay now what if we want to follow um, a VOR radial so we have um, outbound here from the airport VOR. You can see it's outbound because we've got the little away arrow here. You see that? And we're off to the right of um, direct course. So let's uh, let's spin the course knob around and let's say you know, flying directly away from the sorry, from away, <laughs> the VOR. How can we say a direct route to the VR right now would be um, about 260? So if I spin that around to about 260, something like that. Yeah, that would be direct course to the VOR because the needle is centered. And that corresponds with the uh, needle on the ADI here. The single one is the VOR1, the double arrows in VOR2. So, okay, let's switch nav source now to nav2. We want to fly direct to this other VOR, which is 100 and, no, 88 miles away. So, it's now tuned to that because the light is on here. And we can see if we spin the course around, that would be direct to the VOR. So now if I hit beam, the plane now will turn left. Follow the VOR radio. Now, what we do as a good pilot now, we just sync the heading. Because the VOR tracking in these planes works, but heading is more reliable. So, once you're established on the course, you probably switch back to heading mode, especially when you get close to the station. You don't want the plane snaking around left and right. Okay, so there we go. One thing I didn't do because I was talking when we we're over 10,000. Over 10,000 feet, we increase our speed, climb speed to 270 knots. So, bug up first, somewhere around there. So, okay, see if you're paying attention. How do we increase the speed? We're in IAS, more power. Yeah, we could hit more power, or we could, we're in climb power, so we're going to go into pitch mode. See the vertical speed barely changed because it just going to hold the pitch that you're in when you engage pitch speed so let's pitch the nose down one two three three seconds what does that do now nah, it was a bit too long but again for the exercise you don't want to descend do we? for the exercise we want to speed things up a little bit okay let's put that back into a climb no no come on let's not mess around let's get the speed we're at almost 270 here okay 270 back into ias 
autopilot isn't going to like this. Watch the pitch up. Wow. Ideally, you wouldn't pitch down that much. You'd just pitch down 500 feet a minute or 1,000 feet a minute. Anyway, so now we are 270 knots climbing. The vertical speed will settle down. This might look a little bit buggy and a bit inconsistent. But don't forget, it's a 50 year old plane. I'm reliably told by professional pilots it wasn't reliable. Even the A310 the VNAV was uh, more or less useless, as almost quoted. So, there you go, that's um, basic autopilot mode. What I should have done is put the flight director, because now uh, we're in uh, beam mode, so VOR loc mode, I should have put the uh, flight director to that. And you can see now the flight director and the autopilot correspond to the same mode. That's why we've got both lit up and both are green. That means we've, um, green means we, we are on the radio basically. So if I turn the, uh, the course now, oh, wrong one. If I turn the course now here, you see the plane now will turn right and move over to this radio. Pretty cool, eh? Hey, cool. So let's go back to direct. Swing the needle over. There we go. Excellent. Um, okay, we'll level off here. 21,000 feet. Let's see if it'll trick. Oh, that was a bit. I'll show you how to descend. Yeah, the autopilot didn't like that. I'm being surprised with 210 there. Okay. But now let just let the plane settle down now. We're going to go now because we've leveled off at the selected altitude. Now we've gone from IAS speed to height. So that means the nose is pitched down to level. At this power setting, we're going to accelerate. Be careful now. We're going to over speed. Let's bring the power back. I'm guessing here on the 90%, just below 90% should do us pretty good for the moment. Um, we'd bug up to our cruise speed of a Mach, whatever we are, 0.74, I think it is. Not at this altitude. Anyway, so now we're cruising along, blah, blah, blah. We're in. Uh, beam mode we want to descend we want to begin our, our descent how do we do that we want to go from 210 to clear to 80 how do we do that yeah, we can pitch down but then we're going to speed up and maybe over speed now we're going to hit IAS again but pretty much nothing happened now yeah, we're pitching down a bit well, now we're going to reduce to about 80 percent initially put in a nice gentle descent and that'll give you about one and a half thousand feet a minute when it settles down and there we go so don't forget IAS mode that's pitching the plane for the selected or current speed and then you change your power if you want to climb or descend. Simple, hey? Simple. And that was just a tutorial on the autopilot. So, there we go. Um, one last thing is, um, if you wanted to, um, if you're happy with this rate of descent and you're getting near 10,000 feet and you needed to decelerate to 250 knots, so you'd go into pitch mode to maintain this um, attitude and then you now we're reducing power to reduce speed not pitch confused not yet but you will be now this uh, horn is going to go off here isn't it there I go yeah I don't know if that's a bug but when we're about 70% the gear warning horn goes off and to be honest um, <laughs> We want more than 75%, uh, less than 75% power in the uh, in in the descent. Even idle, we want to probably go to idle at some point. Here. Let's see what happens if we stick it down to idle. You see now, the speed is reducing nicely. You see that? Don't forget the the attitude's not going to change here too much because we're in pitch mode. And there we go, nicely slowing down. 
150 knots. Now we could now stick it back in IAS. But what's going to happen? Let's have a look, because we're on idle power. Yeah, it's going to slam the nose down to maintain speed. So that wasn't the best move ever. So what you do is get it back in pitch. Pull the nose up. And take it from there. And take a little... Oh, hear that overspeed? I love it. That was, that was obviously telling you how not to do it, which didn't help. There we go, the nose is coming back up. Look at that shake in the overspeed. Sounds like the flaps are ripping off. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to stick a little bit of um, speed brake out to get below the overspeed. So there you go, basic modes, and uh, landing is pretty simple, like any other any other plane where you have to tune the VOR. Um, tune the ILS in here, the course in here, and we hit the beam to intercept the localizer and glide to intercept the glide slope. Um, but don't forget, it's 50 years old, it's not going to follow down to the minimums. Exactly, you probably want to fly it manually down the ILS. Super, thanks a lot. And um, let's have a little look at some easy here. Look at this. Welcome to Mars. Fantastic. Okay, enjoy. It's going to be a great aircraft in the sim and just flight. They've got some super goodies coming. I believe the RJ is next. Don't know when. From their post, seems like they're working on it. And I don't know. Hopefully by Christmas, but who, who knows? And then I think after is the F100 which from the pics looks amazing. If it's anything like this, I'm just going to wet my pants. <laughs> okay. Um, great, thanks, and good night.